In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on May 17, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets. As we provide these videos on a daily basis, I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from 2 betting picks a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. San Francisco Giants vs. Colorado Rockies The San Francisco Giants will play the middle game of a three-game series at Coors Field on Tuesday against National League West rival the Colorado Rockies. San Francisco has lost each of its last two after falling to the St. Louis Cardinals on Sunday 15-6 while losing Saturday's meeting with the Cardinals 4-0. The loss on Saturday snapped a six-game winning streak for the Giants. San Francisco has fallen to third place in the National League West but is only one half games behind both the Los Angeles Dodgers and San Diego Padres. San Francisco has three pitchers on its injury list as well as position players Steven Duggar and Tommy Lastella. Colorado was defeated by the Kansas City Royals on Sunday 8-7 and the Rockies were defeated by the Royals in two of their three games at home over the weekend. Colorado has lost six of the last seven. The Rockies are sitting in the National League West cellar at 17-17 and trail first place by four half games. Colorado has three pitchers on its injury list as well as left fielder Chris Bryant. The Giants are 62-22 in their last 84 when their opponent allows five runs or more in their previous game. The Giants are also 53-19 in their last 72 games as a favorite and are 41-15 in their last 56 versus National League West. The Rockies are 7-19 in their last 26 versus National League West and are 4-11 in their last 15 home games versus a team with a winning record. The Rockies are also 1-4 in their last five when their opponent allows five runs or more in their previous game. San Francisco Francisco Giants starting pitcher Alex Cobb has had three consecutive strong outings, allowing a combined four earned runs and 10 hits in 11 innings. Cobb was chased early in one of those starts but gave up only one earned run in that appearance while fielding errors caused four unearned runs to score. Last Wednesday, Colorado starting pitcher Chad Cool lost to San Francisco 7-1 after allowing seven runs and five hits in four two-third innings. The Rockies were swept in that three-game series by the Giants in San Francisco May 9-11. Colorado has has lost six of its last seven heading into this series against San Francisco, and the Rockies have lost 16 of the last 21 when playing against a team from the National League West. The San Francisco Giants were able to sweep the Colorado Rockies the last time they faced off and they will continue to dominate Colorado in this series. The San Francisco Giants to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. The San Francisco Giants are currently scoring the second most runs per game and have the eighth highest overall team batting average. The Rockies have not performed at a high level on the defensive side of the field this season and the Giants will be able to consistently score runs throughout this game. I also believe the Giants will be able to hit more home runs than they average, as the air is just a little bit thinner in Denver. The Giants will have success at the plate in this game. The Rockies will also contribute to this total, as they are scoring the eighth most runs per game and have the highest overall team batting batting average. They will be able to reach base against Cobb throughout this game, as he has a 1.38 WHIP rating. Two of the three games last week between San Francisco and Colorado finished over the run total in San Francisco, and Tuesday the two will be playing in the thin air of Coors Field. The total has finished over in five of San Francisco's last six and in four out of the last five that the Giants have played against a team with a winning record. Colorado has seen the total finish over in each of its last six overall and in each of the last four at home. This will be a high-scoring game and I don't see either defense slowing down the opposing offense. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Minnesota Twins vs. Oakland Athletics The Twins have been playing well as of late and took Game 1 of this series facing a slumping ace club. The Twins have won two in a row and three of their last four games. They are atop the American League Central as the only team in the division with a winning record and are three game clear of the Chicago White Sox. While the Minnesota lineup only ranks 19th in the majors and runs scored, the pitching has been solid ranking 5th in Team ERA and that has especially been the case as of late. After a three game win streak, the A's have lost four of their last five games including their last three. They are in the basement of the American League West and already nine games out of first place. The pitching has been decent on the season 
season, but the main issue for Oakland has been at the dish only ranking 25th in baseball and runs scored. The Twins have won two in a row and three of their last four games and took the first game of this series. While their lineup has not been great as of late and for the season their pitching has been solid, Gray is making his first start of the season and he will pitch well facing an A's lineup that ranks 25th in the majors in runs scored, dead last in team batting average and has only scored one run in each of their last three games. Jeffries was decent in his last start but got no run support and that will happen again in this game. Oakland will struggle at the dish again and while they will get decent pitching it helps to score. The A's are absolutely abysmal offensively and Minnesota should easily be able to shut them down. Minnesota will take care of business in game two sending the A's to their fourth loss in a row. So the Minnesota Twins money line is our full game side pick. The total for game one went under and in the last four games between these teams the under record is 3-0-1. While the Twins have won their last two games, they only totaled six runs and they do not have a dynamic lineup. That is especially the case for the A's, who rank last in the bigs in team batting average and 25th in runs scored. The club has only totaled three runs in their last three games and they will not get much at the dish in this game. Jeffries will have a decent outing like his last one and the Twins will not score many runs. Oakland scored six total runs in the four-game series against Los Angeles over the weekend and have scored 26 total runs at home in their last 11 games. Sadly, eight of those runs came in one game, so this team averaged 1.8 runs in the other 10 contests. Minnesota is not burying anyone, but they are getting solid enough production to win games. The last time they met Oakland, they swept the series, outscoring Oakland 9-4 in the three-game set. Look for a very similar series here. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Arizona Diamondbacks vs. Los Angeles Dodgers On Tuesday afternoon, the Arizona Diamondbacks stay at Dodger Stadium for the second game of a four-game set against the Los Angeles Dodgers. These two teams will meet Tuesday evening in a doubleheader again. The Diamondbacks are expected to start Merrill Kelly, making his eighth start of the season. The Dodgers have yet to officially announce the starter and presumably will open the game with one of their bullpen arms. Los Angeles opens as a home favorite. The Diamondbacks come into this game with an 18-18 record and they have lost three games in a row. Over the last two games, the offense has only scored six runs, and each loss was only by a run. Dalton Varsho has been the top player for the Diamondbacks hitting six home runs and driving in 16 RBI. On the other side of this matchup is the Dodgers who have had a strong season but the last week they had struggled a bit. Before winning two games in a row, the Dodgers offense is ranked first and their pitching staff is ranked second. Justin Turner has been the top player hitting two home runs and driving in 23 RBI. Entering this doubleheader with the Diamondbacks, they have allowed the fifth fewest home runs with opposing teams hitting only .211 against them. They are an elite bunch, but Merrill Kelly has carved out a nice role in Arizona. Although he struggled in his last appearance against the Marlins, giving up three runs on seven hits and two walks. He has been lights out for much of the opening two months. He has a pristine 1.71 ERA with a 38-11 Kelvin BB ratio. We know the Dodgers are awesome but are showing some chinks in their armor. They have lost four of their last five games and will be sending a bullpen arm for this start. This is a sneaky spot to take Arizona to steal one. The Diamondbacks have won 12 of their last 18 games overall. The Diamondbacks are playing well recently winning eight out of their last 12 games overall. The Dodgers are stumbling. They lost two of three to the Pirates, followed by three losses and four bouts against the Phillies. So the Arizona Diamondbacks' money line is our full game side pick. Arizona should be able to take advantage of the fact Los Angeles is starting Ryan Pepiot or going with a bullpen start. The Dodgers are giving up a ton of runs, squandering five or more runs in four out of their last five games. Los Angeles has surrendered 38 runs in their last five games entering Monday night. In addition, the Dodgers' bats are producing. They have accumulated five or more runs in seven out of their last ten games. The over is also a convincing 6-2-2 to two to two in the Dodgers' last ten games. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.